Do you know what that is? Do you know what that sound was that you just heard? That is the sound of sweet intellectful. I don't even know what delectful means, but it sounds like an amazing word. Wild Cherry Pepsi. What a fantastic way to start off a video. What's going on guys? You're in with Hardy Tech. Welcome back to Pokemon White Platinum, the Nuzlocke run. In the last episode, we took on the fifth gym and we won ourselves an amazing gym badge. As you can probably tell, we get the Pokemon on the side. I should probably address this really quick. There is a Pokemon here that we didn't have before, and his name is Arkin, who I just realized does not have a nickname. Thanks to you wonderful subscribers, I found out that his Sky Fossil, as it is called in this game, instead of I think normally it's called like the Plume Fossil or something, but is way back in the cave before that sitting in that one place with all the desert and that sand and stuff in that one thing. You go before that into that one area, into that one cave with that one guy, and he gives you that one fossil, which you then take back to that one town with that one building with that one scientist dude who takes that one fossil and turns it into this one Pokemon. So, we have an Arkin, and it's awesome. So, um, I have the, him, he has the EXP share. I decided I was just going to do that all off screen because it, the, it was just like walking through a bunch of, oh, whoa, whoa, what the heck, dude? We got a new outfit. What? That's awesome. And we're on a Sharpedo instead of a Whalmer. Happy face. That, that's awesome. I'm happy. Anyways, um, I believe this is actually a new route, so we can catch a new Pokemon here, which is pretty exciting news. I think, yeah, it has to be a new route. I mean, we haven't been, we've never been on this route ever before, so. Oh, no, Arkin, no, you're not ready for this. You're not ready for this kind of punishment, Arkin, no. Why would you whirlwind? That's so rude. Oh my god, he tried to destroy my Arkin. Arkin actually... Probably could have taken that hit because he is a rock type, but no way am I going to risk that. My brand new sexy Arkin, I'm not going to risk him dying because I actually, I don't think he evolves to like the 40s or 50s. So that's actually kind of disappointing because we're not going to get an Archeops for quite a long time, but um, I think it's definitely worth the wait because I'm, I'm super duper excited about an Arkin or Archeops and He's really good type coverage, and now that I've said this, I'm pretty sure he's going to die in like the very first battle, but I'm not going to make that mistake. I'm no way he's going to be put into a battle until he's ready. I think he actually has like two rock type moves already, so he has two stab moves. I need to give him fly as soon as I get that. I have no idea when we're going to get fly. I'll probably keep quick attack. Um, Ancient power is a higher base power in rock throw. Uh, the only the only good side about rock throw is it has more PP. I just realized ancient power only has five, but... AG Power does have the chance to raise all your stats, so I'm not sure which of those two moves I would keep, um, but let's focus on that later. Right now, we can catch Pokemon in this route, and we can get, um, we can, we, we can probably, maybe, uh, okay, what, what do you say? Do you say anything interesting? I'm looking for a Luxio in this grass type. It's an electric type. You don't say. It should be a freaking dark type. Don't even get me started on that. Okay, I, apparently we can catch, oh, I had a Repel on. Wow, I completely forgot I used repels when I was going through the cave. Anyways, our Pokemon for this route is... <gasps> Ooh, interesting. I actually, I like Electrite. They're cool Pokemon. Uh, Manectric is pretty awesome. So, let's... I think this Rusty still has... I think Rusty still has Quick Attack. So let's... Or... No, no, wait, wait, no, no! Electric! Electric, no! It's just like the Vulpix, man. Why does everyone gotta do that? Why? Why can't Whirlwind? Why can't it be where it just switches Pokemon? That's so stupid. Man, what do you say? I'm looking to buy a good rod, but it's really hard to find. I bet I'm just gonna find some random fisherman and he's just gonna be like, dude, you can just have my good rod. Oh, that just. Oh my god, I'm really just starting to piece that together now. Oh, wow. All these years. They've. We've just been... Oh, another freaking Gastrodon! Wow, why is Oprah so popular in Pokemon? I will never understand. A, a Gastrodon for you, and a Gastrodon for you. Everybody gets a Gastrodon. No, nobody wants a freaking Gastrodon. They're annoying, and they're ugly, okay? Actually, I, I kind of like Gastrodon. I, I know I just... I was, like, hating on it, but... In all honesty, I, I kind of like the guy. He's pretty cool. Um, I've used... I think I've used Gastrodon pretty much like every time I've played through um, a Sinnoh game. Wow, he must... What is that freaking ability that like raises your evasion in Sandstorm? That just annoys me so much because I th I'm pretty sure... Um, la, 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 la. I'm pretty sure what's his face. The little cactus Pokemon, I can't remember his name. Cacnea. 
I'm pretty sure Cacnea has it, and when I was like grinding a few videos ago, I kept finding Cacneas that had that ability, and it just annoyed me so much, because they just kept using it, and well, they didn't use it, but I kept finding them, and I kept missing, and it just it made me hate my life, so Cacneas are the reasons that I do bad things, so um, oh, I don't know which way we're supposed to go, we got a fork in the road, Nidoran is my most lovable Pokemon, um, I guess we'll go this way, you know? As the trainer, so that that's obviously a good thing. So, um, oh, so anyways, while we're playing, I'm gonna attempt to tell you guys a little bit of a story that happened today because every time I tell a story, that obviously goes well because nothing ever died. Really, I knew it. I knew it. I saw that thing and I'm like, oh, it's gonna poison me. But I, I thought it. I didn't actually say it, but I should have said it because then I could have seemed smart. But no. Anyways, um, so. And, and for those of you who may not normally like stories, you should stick around. You have to pay attention because this one involves a girl. Yeah, it's pretty exciting, huh? Um, anyways, so today I was I went to go visit my sister, who lives about an hour and a half away from me. I guess it's like 50 miles, but or I think it's about like 50 to 60 miles. But the entire time it's like a 35 mile an hour speed limit, so it takes hours to get there, which. Oh my god, do I still not have antidotes? Are you... Oh, okay, no, I do. I was just saying, are you serious? <laughs> I was... Oh my god, that would annoy me so much. I'm ready for the big bug contest in Central City. Uh... Oh, okay, anyways. um, What was I... Oh, okay, so... Today I went to go visit my sister. And... When I was there, we decided to go to... Go out for lunch. Go out for dinner, technically. And, um... I ended up going to Jack in the Box, and while I was at Jack in the Box, they were like, dude, we're gonna go to McDonald's instead. So I'm like, oh, yeah, cool, make me drive to Jack in the Box for nothing, you big meanies. But, anyway, so after I got my food, I went over to McDonald's and was like waiting for them to get their food. So, and when I walk into McDonald's, I look at the register, and working the register is probably one of the cutest girls I've ever seen. And,. This is no offense to Chapel Am or Pepper, you know, my two ex-girlfriends, but seriously, this girl was freaking beautiful. And all I could think is like, wow, I really, really want to go talk to her and do things to her and probably go to jail. But, um, Clarkers wants to learn Slash on a quick different subject. I'm really no point in learning that, to be honest. Um, uh, <laughs> let's, let's continue on before this gets even more weird, but... So I'm like, okay, I, I gotta find a way to talk to her, but I already have my food, so I decided um, I'm gonna get a freaking McFlurry, because I love McFlurries. A little side note about me, I love McFlurries, because they're absolutely amazing. So um, I'm like, okay, I'll just go order a McFlurry, and while I'm waiting in line, I came up with like this perfect pickup line, because I'm like, okay, well, I, it's gonna be weird if I just like go up there and try to start hitting on her like while she's working. I. I, I don't know, I, I wanted to talk to her and I wanted to do something, like say something, but at the same time it's like, wow, she's working at McDonald's, this is probably like the worst possible time to try to meet somebody, so. But I, in my mind, I had come up with what I thought was like, it could be like a good pickup line, which I know pickup lines are so freaking amazing when you're trying to talk to girls. I've never actually like used one before with the exception of just like a joke, like I would use joke, I would just um, use pickup lines on both like Chapel Am and Pepper, just to try to make them laugh, obviously. I would use like extremely cheesy ones just because I can. But um I'm like, okay, well I gotta I gotta try to break the ice somehow and, and get to this. and um so I came up with this line. I'm sure I'm not like the first person to ever think of this joke, but to me I felt clever at the time. So um and I did think of this on my own, but like I said, I'm sure that I'm not the first person to ever use this joke. So I'm not claiming to be. But I thought because I'm at a McDonald's, here's what I'm planning to say. So, I get up there, I'm like looking at the menu and everything, and my I, and how it goes in my head is like, I can't really find a number that I'm looking for. And she'll say something like, oh, well, what is it that you're looking for? And I'll say, your number. And I'll be like, or something like, your number. And it seems so perfect in my head. And um, I'm like, oh god, this is just totally going to be perfect. And when it finally came time for me to order, I walked up to the counter, I looked at her, my mind went completely blank, and I'm just like, "Can I have a McFlurry?" And she's like, "That'll be two dollars." So I handed her two dollars, and then I walked away. And when I walked away, I turned around. I was like, "Oh my god, I messed it up." So that's the story of how Hardy missed the opportunity to 
meet and the most beautiful girl that ever existed. I know I'm probably over exaggerating on that, but yeah. Go Scyther, take on all the trees at once. Tree violence is never the answer. Look, you're here again. Oh, oh wait, no. Oh crap, I just realized we're probably gonna be battling him. Today I'll show you the results of my turn. No, I don't wanna battle you. No, I'm not prepared for this. No. Oh, you have a shell gun too. I'm gonna have to switch in orange. I don't wanna switch in orange. You're gonna make me do it, aren't you? Dragon Rage, oh crap. That's not doing that much. I know it does 40. I'm um, just thinking back to my Dragon Rage fun and my Blaze Black 2A Glock. That was a nice time. I enjoyed that. Um, but anyways, so I'm sure... Oh my god, I thought that said Luxray. Wow. Epic fail on my part. Um, okay, let's go into Kekos, because I don't know what he would have done. I was... I don't know what he could have done. I'm afraid... I probably would have gone into um, Blaziken, but I was afraid that he had uh, Earthquake, which, thinking back, I doubt he has Earthquake. I don't see why he would, but... He, he might not even have a fighting type move. I mean, jeez. It seems like that would have been the best move to use against me, but he didn't, so... I'm a little confused now, but... Let's just pretend none of that happened. So, yep. Today we realized that after all this time... Oh, I still have absolutely no confidence around girls, and although it's probably a good thing I didn't use that, like, just beyond cheesy pickup line, because it, it's just, god, it was it was so crappy. I can't believe I was actually going to, like, think about trying that. <laughs> I'm, like, upset with myself for even thinking that, but I thought you guys would enjoy that story, and you guys would enjoy hearing about someone else's misery for once, instead of always having to live your own horrible lives where you probably get all the girls and you're absolutely famous and amazing and I'm just here trying to oh dude you and fly by level up that's freaking awesome screw TMs what we'll, screw HMs we'll just fly on you because we can now wait can you would I be able to unlearn fly because I didn't teach it to him via HM I don't know actually I'm going to buy a good rod but it's really hard to find that's the exact same dialogue the other guy had oh my god this game is so just copy and rehashing things it's so freaking horrible this game man i hate it so much but um yeah so we sh i was gonna say like we should like have another little community discussion where we like all talk about the times when we get rejected by girls and we just unless you're a girl in, in which case um you get rejected by guys which i don't think there's ever been like a story of a girl getting rejected by a guy before that's obviously sarcasm don't please that's that's sarcasm i know it's obviously happened before please don't rip my face off okay but um i was gonna say we should have like story time where people tell how they've been rejected but then i'm like or how they didn't have courage to do something and i'm just realizing that would be like super freaking depressing Let, let's not do that so <laughs> let's let's keep the comments positive today you know let's let's have a nice positive vibe in this video because i'm in a good mood and i want positive things to happen so we're going to be positive. I'm absolutely positive I'm going to do horrible in this game. I'm absolutely positive this is a draft rig. I'm absolutely po- What? Okay, that's, um, yeah, that's nice. Whatever, I'll just strength you instead. How's that feel? You're dead! How's that feel to be dead, punk? Oh, you still got a draft rig. You should have just- I thought you ate that thing. Um, I'm not- I would not be surprised, to be honest, if they had mega giraffe rig. I mean, they have mega- Mega, what's its face? Um, so, wow, what is the Pokemon I'm thinking of? Maywile. They have Mega Maywile. And Giraffe and Maywile are like very similar to me for some reason. Like they both have two heads, although one's not actually a head. And it's it's very confusing. So let's go into Keckles. I'm assuming you bet you could take a hit, Keckles, right? Okay, good. Because <laughs> I'm just like, God, I don't want Keckles to die. He's. My best friend in the whole world. So, hopefully we can one... Wow, did we seriously outspeed a Machoke? We have, like, no speed stat at all, and we still outspeed a Machoke. I find that very entertaining, to be honest. I'm I'm laughing on the inside. I can't actually laugh on the outside, because I sold my laugh box for drugs. But, um, on the inside, like, in my mind, I'm laughing quite a bit right now. So, it's very enjoyable. Um, are we almost... Oh my god, it's a Pichu! Oh, that's so adorable. What do you say? Do you say anything about your Pichu? Okay, that's cool. Uh, oh, we were able to walk. No, I don't want to know. Oh my god, I was going to stop and heal. Oh, did I? Can I say no, really? After I beat all the gyms this area, then I wait for it and I'll go to the World Championship. Oh, 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 okay. Cool. Cool. Um, 
didn't even mean to do that. Serenity City is where we're at now. Oh, yay, more events. Team Steam, this is the last time we'll make this offer. Surrender now and nothing will happen to you. We've already captured Terra and she'll be set free as soon as we've dismantled your operation. Officer, I'm impressed by your courage, but I've got no time to play with you right now. I have to move quickly. Goodbye, friends. I'm off to save the world. Whoa. That bird thing just carried three people. They've slipped away through our grasp again. Yeah, because you literally just freaking stood there while she flew away. How do you even have a job? Seriously. But I'm sure the Pokemon Society will stop them. You were just the worst police officers. I bet you I bet you're friends with those police officers that pulled me over, aren't you? You guys probably all have some big and freaking like cop douche society. I swear. Where's the Pokemon Center? I need someone to play with my balls already. I'm just so tired of doing it by myself. Having to do everything on my own, heal myself. I want Joy to play with my balls. You know what, Joy? I'm gonna pretend that you're the cashier from McDonald's. And and we're just gonna we're gonna have some fun time here with my Pokeballs. So yeah. I know I already healed, but just for the sake of it, for the sake of the joke, this very bad, crappy joke I probably shouldn't have made, I'm going to heal again. So, oh yeah. That was nice. And now I'm going to shamefully walk away, just like I did at McDonald's. But at least at McDonald's I got a McFlurry. Here I just got nothing but disappointment. So, um, I do not know. I have absolutely no idea what kind of gym is. But I'm guessing, but looking at this, I'm guessing the next gym is electric. Let's see. Rainer, type electric. Oh, I am so smart. Okay, so now it's time It's time to go find out if there's any gift Pokemon. Wow, what kind of hotel is locked? That's the worst hotel. So now it is that time to go search for gift Pokemon. Ooh, move deleter. Yes, oh, that's... Okay, well, actually, I don't think I need to delete any moves, but that'll be super useful to remember later on if I, I have no choice but to give someone a crappy move. Um, that'll be really good to know that's what that is. What is this? Serenity City Power Plant, reducing clean energy for the Zerahi region. Okay, that's good to know. Um, what other gift Pokemon can we have left? I know we still have some, some of the starter Pokemon. Like, um, I don't remember what starter Pokemon we've actually got so far. I'm looking for a Sandshrew for my Graveler. No. But that, actually, we get a Golem out of that, so it would be worth it. But um, I'm pretty sure the only... Ooh, we got the Miracle Seed. I think the only people that will give you something, typically they don't move. So you want to... Find a pe- Oh, I bet this is it. I bet this is him. If you want to soar through the sky, it's fine from City City. Oh, oh, okay. Cool. That's even better. Oh, awesome. <laughs> That's not what I thought was going to happen, but, you know, I'm happy. <laughs> um, I, I thought he's going to give us a gift Pokemon. I, wow, Fly. Okay, that's awesome. I'll definitely take Fly over a gift Pokemon, not going to lie. Maybe there is no gift Pokemon in this town, or maybe it's in the power plant, which, um... I don't really... Well, I guess I could use a backup electric type, because... I don't have anybody to replace, um, uh, what, what is his name? Roxy. <laughs> Anyways, let's go catch Pokemon 417. It is a, ooh, Minfu. I like that. I actually didn't notice until recently that Minfu doesn't actually evolve until, like, 50. Which is just like, why? Why is its evolution that late? That is a ridiculously late amount for an evolution, so... I didn't think this through, because now I have no idea what to attack him with. Um, we could probably Mud Slap him. I don't think Mud Slap can kill. It's such a weak move. Please don't kill. Please. Oh, okay, that's actually perfect with Paralysis. We should be able to catch it. I actually don't think I have any Fighting types. Do oh, I have Blaziken. And I want to think I have a Fighting type in the box. I don't remember. I do have Ryalu in the box, who... I gotta say, I'd probably go with Lucario over a Mean Xiao. Not gonna lie. Anyways, I'm gonna nickname this thing. I don't know why, but I want to nickname it Tiger. I just it reminds me of like Tigger for some reason. I don't I don't know why it does, but it reminds me of Tigger. So this is gonna be my Tiger. And I believe we can actually get something on the other side of the town too. I think there's a route there. So let's go to this side and this is route 413. I don't I don't wanna battle you, kid. No, don't make me do it. Okay, I have to battle him. So I'm guessing we're probably going to have to do some more grinding before the next gym. Um, considering the last gym's highest was 45, and we only have like one Pokemon that's that level. So, yeah. But the good news is, from all that grinding, we'll probably get um, Arkin up to the level, a uh, decent level. So, that's good news. And, uh, well, we can really abuse Kecleon's ability here, because we could use Extra Sensory, and then Shadow Ball, and then just laugh at him. So, uh-huh. Um, 
what was I gonna say? Although, I'm just gonna be serious. I'm assuming after this gym, we'll be able to use Fly, which would be nice because then we could fly back to the Name Raider and give nicknames to all the Pokemon. So, ah, oh, does this have to be a water route? All right, whatever. I don't want to be bothered with water Pokemon. So, I'm assuming we're supposed to go into the power plant now. I'm just gonna take a wild guess. We can't take on the gym yet. So, we're working on new technology. Blah blah blah. What do you do? I'm visiting power plant. Blah blah blah. Where's the gift Pokemon? There's gotta be some kind of gift Pokemon here that I've missed. Hey, wait a bit. Do they, they have, do they have the same dialogue? Wow. I, ugh, got it. I gotta try to ignore the flaws in this game. Oh, crap, not Team Steam. No, oh, you're just a scientist. Okay, why am I taking you on? Why am I battling? Why, game? Why am I beating up this poor scientist? What did he do to deserve this, huh? What, I want to know, what did the scientist do that was so bad that he deserves getting the fate of getting kicked in the face by my Blaziken? I don't think anybody deserves that. I mean, Blaziken is a, he's a very ruthless guy. He hasn't been used very much recently. And ever since then, oh, I think, what is TM25? Is that Thunder? I think that's Thunder, but I'm not sure. Yeah, it is. I want to think for some reason I got like stuck in this part of the game last time I played it. And I couldn't figure out. I know there was one part of the game where I just got completely stuck and I had no idea what to do. But I don't remember if this was it was this part or if it was like the part right before you go to the steel gym. I don't remember. Oh, okay. There's the gym waiter. So I was right. We did have to come here. So I guess in these guys are just battling us to like supplement for extra gym trainers. I don't know. To be honest, I have no idea. So... Let's just stay with Rusty to get like this tiny, pathetic amount of experience so that we can miss our crunches and just hate our life. Rusty, Ru Rusty, 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 this is not cool. For, oh, oh, um, I'm just gonna, I wanna point this out real quick. Um, in the last video, when um, I was saying like Rusty was, pro I think I was saying something about like Rusty was probably gonna die, and then I kept getting texts during those videos. That was actually Rusty texting me, so it's like, she she knew that she might die and she was like texting me to say hardy if you kill me i'm going to do very bad things to you so long story short i'm absolutely terrified now so please break out of your confusion yes awesome and we should be able to one shot him yay we actually got a decent amount of experience from nine tails so we should just be able to talk to you now it's ready at last! Now we can reconnect the turbines and the power will turn on! Finally the power's back on! I will now return to my gym! Why is no gym leader ever in their gym? Serious here? Like, ever, they're all off doing stuff. Do they not do not realize this is their job? Hey, you okay? I was just working to restore the power in the power plant. I'm Raider, the gym leader of Serenity City. Now the power's back on. I'll return to my gym! Yeah, let your fire stick your tails in my ass! What? Wait, what? Um, I mean, hey, we could go take on the gym now, yay! But I think we're gonna have to do grinding first! We might actually, um, let's go investigate what's up this route, because I'm sure we'll probably be able to get, like, some extra training. Maybe there's more routes, maybe there's another town, who knows? It seems like a good idea, because last time I wanted to do grinding, I had that, like, cave I couldn't go into, because there's trainers there, and I couldn't take them on off screen, and it was just annoying, but, um... Actually, well, I don't know. I don't. I don't want to battle anybody right now. I, I just like really can't be bothered to do anything useful. So, uh, yeah, you know, we'll save that until next time, I guess, or we'll, we'll grind. I don't know. You guys tell me what to do. Is there anything you? No, don't tell me what's up this route. I want to be surprised. So, anyways, yeah, you guys know what's happening by me. I like. I forgot how to do my outro. I was like. In my mind, I'm like, oh my god, what do I say now? And I started panicking, and I'm like, you guys know what happens here. But until next time, guys, thank you for watching. I'm Hardy Tech Yo-Yo. Peace!